Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a hotkey using two keys and three keys. If this is something that interests you, then continue watching. Alright, so we covered in an earlier tutorial that we can use the special keys like Control Alt, let's say um, the hat sign which represents Control, to create a hotkey using Control and A, um, i.e. two two keys. So if I press Control and A, I'll get the message box. Now, if you if I change this to A B, this is not going to work. If I run it, it's not going to work because. Um, this is not the way you create a, a hockey that uses two keys um, that is not uh, with where one of the keys is not a control alt or or those special keys you get an error message down here that says invalid hotkey so in order to create a double hotkey so to speak you put an and ampersand sign in between a and b now this this time if I run it so if I press A and B, it's going to show me the message box. Now one uh, little issue with this is when I press A, it's not going to register the uh, the keystroke. So it's not going to show A on my screen when I press A. B is still going to work, but A uh, when I press A, it's not going to input the key. Now in order to avoid that, I've covered this already, but I'm just going to show you quickly. Put the tilde sign in front of A. And this time, a, a is still going to be input. Now, A and B is still going to still going to work. If I press and hold down A, it's going to continuously print A. And then if I press B, it will launch the message box. Then, now, I'm going to show you how you can create a hotkey using three keys. Now, in this instance, we are going to create a context-sensitive hotkey using if hashtag if and go get key state. A and P. Now, what this what this means is you are trying to get the key state of the A key, and if it is P, which means pressed, I'm going to launch this hotkey that uses B and C to create a message box that says hi. Now, it's important to close um, the if statement out with another if in order to turn off the context sensitivity um, and then if I run this now and press A, B and C it's going to launch that message box right? and this time it's not going to block the input of the A key because this is not this part is not part of the hotkey it's just creating the concept, context sensitivity so it's going to input A. Now in reality you are probably not going to use a three key hotkey in this way you'll probably do something more like L control P and then um, and B and C right if I run this and press left control B and C it's going to show me that message box and of course you don't just have to use left control um, there's many other keys that you can utilize so I'm just going to go and show you autohockey.com uh, backslash docs key list dot HTM okay that didn't work now but if you come to this URL and then go down to look for L control there we go so all these keys are the keys that you can use to create uh, context sensitivity using get key state and um, create hotkeys based on that. Right, um, that's it for this video, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.